Welcome to Colorado Campgrounds, What You Need to Know. This YouTube channel supports our website, www.coloradocampgrounds.us.com. If you like this video of James M. Robb, Colorado River State Park, check out our website to view pictures and read important details about every campsite at the park. You will also get a list of our favorite campsites at James Robb State Park. Enjoy the video. Greetings fellow campers, Camping Steve come to you from John M. Robb State Park in western Colorado. John Robb State Park is along the Colorado River, in fact it stretches for 35 miles. It has five areas in the state park, but only two of the areas offer camping. Island Acres is the east anchor and it has 80 campsites. It's right on the Colorado River and it's right on I-70. Fruta is on the western side of the state park, so it serves as a western anchor, and it has a campground with 57 campsites. Both Island Acres and Fruta have full hookups for many of the campsites there. Island Acres is really great if you're just passing through Colorado and you need to stop overnight. Fruta is a great campground if you want to stop there to enjoy a small town atmosphere, as it's right near the town of Fruta, Colorado. In any case, the point is, get out there and camp. This is Camping Steve. I'll see you at a campground somewhere in Colorado. As I mentioned in my introduction, Island Acres is situated at the east end of James M. Robb State Park near Palisade, Colorado. You get off at exit 47 and travel east along the access road with I-70 to your right. The campground is located between I-70 and the Colorado River. The Island Acres Campground of James M. Robb State Park is organized into five loops with a total of 80 campsites. The A loop has 33 campsites with electric hookups. The B loop has six tent sites. The C loop has 20 campsites, all with electric hookups. And the D loop has 19 campsites, all with full hookups. Now let's return to the A-loop and view the drive through video of the campsites.
Here's the video drive through of the tent camping loop, the B loop. Sites 38, 39, and 40 are under the trees. The Sea Loop campsites are all pull through. This is the loop I stayed in when I visited the state park. The campsites in the D loop have full hookups, but you should know that the D loop is the noisiest loop as it is the closest to I-70.
James M. Robb Colorado River State Park has several amenities. A camper services building, a children's play area, a swim beach, an amphitheater, a dump station, and not pictured here are the laundromat and the picnic areas. The campground is located along the Colorado River, although there is no boat ramp access. The Fruta Campground is located 35 miles west of the Island Acre Campground. As you drive west on I-70, you pass the towns of Palisade and Grand Junction. You also pass by three day-use areas of James M. Robb State Park. The first is Corn Lake. The second is the Colorado River Wildlife Area. And the third is the Connected Lakes. These day-use areas provide picnic areas, fishing, and boating activities. To access the Fruta Campground, take the Fruta Exit 19 South off of I-70, then drive one mile on Highway 340. The Fruta Campground entrance will be on your right. The Fruta Campground has 63 campsites, 22 with electric and 22 with full hookups. The main campground has 44 campsites, 35 of which are pull-through sites. Following is the drive-through video of Fruta's main campground.
While the main campground has most of its campsites in a loop, there is a crossroad in the center of the loop which has campsites number 5 and 25. Here is the video of those two campsites. Fruta has a small group camping area with six backing campsites. Here's the drive through video of the group camping area. The last camping area at Fruta is the tent camping area, which has 13 walk-in tent campsites. See our website for pictures of each of those campsites. I previously mentioned the camping amenities at Island Acres. Fruta's amenities include a visitor center with a bookstore, playground, camper services building, picnic areas, a boat ramp, and a dump station. If you are traveling west in I-70, James M. Robb State Park is a great stopover destination to western Colorado, and you get the chance to travel through the Glenwood Canyon, one of the most scenic canyons in all of Colorado, with its towering walls carved by the Colorado River. As you travel through the canyon in I-70, you can watch the train follow its perilous path through the canyon, see rafters navigate the Colorado River's rapids, and marvel at the engineering skills it took to build I-70's tunnels and the stacked roadways through the canyon's 60 miles of curves. That concludes our James M. Robb Colorado River State Park video. Please like this video, make a comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel to explore our other Colorado campground videos. Also, be sure to visit our companion website, www.coloradocampgrounds.us.com. There you'll find campsite photos and important information to improve your Colorado camping experience. This is Camping Steve signing off. See you at a campground somewhere in Colorado.